what's going on big a with another video and a friend of mine just sent me this link so shout out to uh to phil hawkins um and it's a deleted arkham scene from the batman and yeah let's let's see what happens in the scene man i think it's going to be a good scene let me make sure the sounds all right yeah here we go okay cool here we go The Joker, it's gotta be the Joker. It's definitely the Joker, man. See what he has to say. So meticulous. Like you've been planning this his whole life. So this must be before. I know who he is. He called the Riddler. Oh. Who is he? He's a nobody. Wants to be somebody. The mayor, the commissioner. Yeah. He's got ambition. You think his motive is political? Oh, no, no, no. This is very, very personal. He feels these people have all wronged him. Probably goes way back. Unhealed wounds, stolen much money. Why is he writing to me? Maybe he's a fan of yours? <laughs> or maybe he's got a grudge against you, too. Maybe you're the main course. Any theories? Not yet. Really? You're normally so ahead of the curve. <laughs> but something is different this time. This is very upsetting to you. Let's get back to him. Why? You are so much more fun. I'm not here to talk about me. What are you here to talk about? I want to know how he thinks. You know exactly how he thinks. Have you read this file? You two have so much in common. Mask Avengers. <gasps> so he's even more righteous. <laughs> You're afraid and he makes you look soft. <laughs> You're wasting my time. <laughs> Down. You're just terrified. 
Because you're not sure he's wrong, huh? You think they deserved it, huh? You think they deserved it? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm not going to lie, that was so much better than what we actually saw at the end of the movie. <laughs> like, having kind of Batman be a bit desperate and then go to the Joker for help to try and, like, solve, like, the Riddler, find out who he is, what he wants. That's great. Like, that that scene's really good. It's a shame that they had to cut it out. And then what we did get at the end, we didn't even really see, like, his face or anything like that, but we knew who it was. Oh man, I feel like we might have missed out. Like, I prefer him just being in the movie and them establishing that within the two years of Bruce Wayne being Batman, they've met already. They've had their first encounter. I I really like that. I like Barry Keown in the part more in this scene than the one that we got in the final movie. And I just love how they kind of blur his face uh, through the glass. I thought that was a really good... good uh, tactic because when we finally do get to see his face we see how nasty it is man and how ugly it is oh man i'm like that must have been a hard call to make for matt reeves and like the editors and stuff like that just because they saw the scene and obviously like oh this scene's really good but then i don't i don't know the reason i, I want to know the story behind it like what's the reason why they they decided to take out was the studio going we like it, but we'd rather you tease the character rather than show it outright. That's a shame, man. I mean, I wouldn't be mad if that scene was in the movie and it made the film five minutes longer, but I guess Warner were like two and a half hours, no more. Or three hours even, no more. I forget how long it was, but it was close to three hours. Man, yo, that's so cool. I'm so glad my mate told me to... Uh, take a look at this because it is is wicked it is really good i cannot believe it yeah oh my god i think i'm just gonna upload this raw to be honest like just barely edit it at all but man yeah just a really chilling scene yeah his, his joker barry Keon's joker is really good it is really good like i'm not gonna lie it is i was quite impressed <laughs> like look at that that's brilliant like that Behind a frosted glass thing, just seeing his hair all messed up and that. <laughs> that's really, that's really impressive. Like, man, and like stuff like, let me see if I can get that shot up here. Um, it's going to come up. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Yeah, there you go. Ah, oh, stuff like that. That's great. That's bloody brilliant. And then let's go towards the end. We really see his face. And he looks all gross and ah, oh, he looks all gross and that. Here we go. Ah, uh, look at his is. It's almost like he's cut up his face or something, kind of like Zaz in a way or something like that. But man, if that's five minutes, I think what we could get in the sequel from Barry Keown uh, could potentially be brilliant. Uh, it looks like we've got another another good Joker on our hands, which I think everyone will be pleased to kind of. Oh, look at it. Uh, 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 he looks bloody gross. Look at him. Man, yeah, let me know as to what you thought of this deleted scene, this deleted Arkham scene from the Batman. Like, comment, do all the things. And as always, stick around and watch another video.